something. As Bad Mike is regaling you with the uh, test the theme song, or at least his rendition of it, it is. Ma- it is. I am. This is the raw wrap up. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, we're in the Pittsburgh uh, studios, uh, Sorgatron Media Studios, and Beach. You. I'm sorry, he's doing the test song, and it's really messing with me. Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. Mm, yeah, Sorg. According to Tina, I am the swearing pirate. The swearing pirate. Arr, me shitheads. Arr, me fuckers. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad we're contributing such great Sorg, things to the Sorg. community. Sorg, do you know where I work? Toys are. Oh no! Uh, oh no! I did it! I did it! Oh, I did it. the puns that have driven some hosts away from the show, man, Mike. So, <laughs> so WWE Raw tonight. Um, uh, yeah, is, Raw. Okay, I'm just gonna go because you, you you seem to have some opinions. Uh, let, let's let's just set the tone um, with this, uh, man, Mike. Um, hey, hey, Sorg. Um, hey. So I'm, um, I'm not sure what, what, what I just saw. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Narrow that down a little bit. Did Michael Mizanin mm-hmm. just turn face? Wait, did he? Um... It really seemed like it. It really, really like the man came out with his buddies Mm -hmm. to announce he was having a child. Okay. Was going to deliver a stirring poem. Yes. About it. Yes. Was interrupted by an asshole questioning questioning the parentage of said child yes and then when he asked the crowd if he was a paper champion the crowd said no (laughs) did miz just turn motherfucking face because if he did sign me the shit up for that other than the fact that his his buddies uh, got him a disqualification loss in that one, I um, agree with no, you. No, no, no. That they, they should have called that DQ even earlier. They should have just had one of those matches where Miz kept punching Enzo in the face until the ref called the DQ. This is this is true. Yes, because again, Enzo is an asshole. Mm-hmm. Like. Enzo is the biggest heel on Raw. So Enzo is the guy, everybody's kind of liking him, but maybe he's going that step too far with certain aspects. Is, is how I'm interpreting what they're doing with him lately. I I don't know what the fuck they're doing with him. Because, like, it's one thing to not know the name of your tag team partner and call him Pepper Jack. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. That's shtick. Chris Jericho did it all the time. But what he did tonight was kind of next level heel. Mm-hmm. Like, I th- th- there's no coming back from that. I'm sorry, there there isn't. There there are certain things you can't do on a wrestling show and have and come back to be a face. Like interrupting someone's legitimately happy moment and not a shit happy moment is one of those things i think yeah i'm kind of with you on that well, well how about so either way it was interesting because i i, I also, lo- I, lo- also- I, I also love when when there's these stabs and everything um and 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 they got to dig into each other a little bit that wasn't even a step that was just a straight up shoot interview <laughs> it kind of was which seems like, like the norm lately doesn't it again oh i read the internet this week and i'm just going to roll that into my promo like uh, I'm not sure. Did did RF Video sponsor <laughs> Ms. TV this week? Was that what happened? Because it really kind of seemed like it. Like, and by the way, and this is an entire side note. Maurice was killing it tonight. Mm-hmm. Maurice was fucking killing it. Like you can tell, she was like, "I'm having a kid, so I'm gonna look fucking good." <laughs> 
I'm not even joking. Like I just I just sent out a tweet that said slay Maurice Slay because seriously, on point. But um yeah. Enzo can kind of go the fuck away now. Like I hope No Mercy is just Neville giving him the red arrow 18 times until he is flattened on the mat. I'm not even joking. He's just just laying into him for all the stuff he's been doing. Yeah. Like I I'm rude and you know how much I've wanted Neville to lose that title to someone who can actually carry it. Mm-hmm. I'm rooting really hard for Neville. <laughs> well, let's go from from that Mike Mike acrobatics to um, uh, John Cena and Roman Reigns. Um, are you are you kind of like ah oh, Roman? I've been there before. When the guy's just laying into me and he's just so much better at it and I have no good comebacks, but I tried anyways and they laid flat. Roman, your arms are too short to box with God. Mm. As a great man once said, not one single statement Roman said was true. He said Cena has not had good matches in the past two years. Categorically not true. Yeah. Cena has almost not had bad matches in the past two years. Granted, he's been working less, which mm-hmm. might have been the point. But, I mean, you're talking Cena's feuds with, hello, AJ Styles. Hi, Kevin Owens. Shinsuke Nakamura. Brock Lesnar. Like, um... I'm not sure what Roman considers good wrestling matches. I mean, maybe there wasn't enough for him, but like Cena has been in some pretty good wrestling matches. Also, he's saying he, he said that Hollywood doesn't want John Cena because quote, he knows a guy. Um, First of all, the rock, if you recall, his first big role was as a digital face in The Mummy Returns. <laughs> then he got the lead role in a spinoff of a popular franchise. Who does that sound like? Oh, I know. John fucking Cena, the star of Transformers Bumblebee. Also in talks to play motherfucking Shazam. Against, I know a guy the rock <laughs> and Cena it's laid rock out three this time was zach snyder emoness mm-hmm. uh from the chat uh, people were kind of along with you on this one uh tina's saying that series with aj styles was matches of the year candidates agreed uh yeah, if it wasn't for nxt they would have won match of the year yeah uh dave and when's the last time we got a match of the year from nxt uh, let's say the last six months right the good stuff but not not killing it like they used to uh dave is saying ever since the u.s open challenge cena has been killing it i'm with him on that yeah pretty much mm. i mean uh, so one one or two promos fall flat here and there but the matches have been awesome yeah once a, once in a while it gets little fruity pebbles on us doesn't he yeah absolutely so. And I mean that as a term of endearment, by the way. Yeah, but like, uh, like Roman just, he, and and the go home line of that, the the drug test. Ooh, she, I, I missed the drug test part. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Cena's ending line was, um, "Our match in No Mercy is gonna be like a drug test. You just can't pass it, homie." Like, Jeez. Holy he just, I'm sorry, I had a visitor at that point, apparently. And yeah, I he, and it. he just dropped the mic. I'm like, um, and you know the only thing that bugs me about this story, because you know me, I can't be entirely 100% positive about Raw. No, 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 it's not, it's not your way. Um, the worst thing about this is Roman is just going to win that match, and that's going to be it. Mm. That's going to be it. Like... Like, Roman winning one match does not make everything Cena said invalid. No, no, absolutely not. Or does it turn into, we see it at Rumble, we see it at, 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 at Mania? No, I'm still worried I'm ho- about that. I'm hoping not. Mania. I'm hoping not, but. I, I, for once, I would like WWE to listen to their audience. Mm-hmm. And this, this one time. 
I want to see a John Cena win. <laughs> this is the one time. <laughs> wait, wait wh- what? This is the one time I am asking politely for lol Cena wins. <laughs> I am politely asking for this. <laughs> wow. What is what have they done to you? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Um, uh, can we Google Stockholm syndrome? Hold on. Let's see. Stockholm syndrome. Because I, I think I think we might be there. Hold on, hold on. Stockholm syndrome. Yes. Um. by a victim toward a captor. Yep, sounds about it right. Okay, okay, we got that. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank Google. You, Google, thank you, Google. Yes. Thank you, hashtag Alexa. Bliss. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, this, is, this is appropriate to put here because um, I, 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 I saw this last night, and this has nothing to do with Raw other than Alexa Bliss. But there's there's somebody that that I know in the music industry for for a long time, um, and I saw her shirt and her logo last night. And realizing she's had that shirt and logo for a while, and realizing how much it looks like Alexa Bliss's shirt. Okay. Just that's just one of those weird things. Well, I mean, Alexa Bliss's shirt looks like Harley Quinn. That's true. I guess everybody's grilling off that, so, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's it's it's not exactly a new look. No, 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 no um, not, not not the look in particular, but like the style of sh- of, of shirt, I guess. Okay. So I don't know. That, it was just kind of a side thing. But let's see if I can find a look. Uh, you. But anyways, I, what I, else happened on Raw tonight? Tag team wrestling happened, Mike. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I want to talk about no. I want to talk about the good things. Okay. Sorg. WWE needs to listen to their their audience. Okay. They need to put the championship on Braun Strowman. Oh, fuck yeah, they do. Yes, they, they do. And and they're not going to. You I'm know so they're not worried. Going you know to. what I'm so worried about? Yeah. Remember when we really wanted Roman to have the championship, or when? No. The, no. I don't. I've never wanted Roman to have that championship. Wow. Well, I've okay, never wait, 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 wait. That. wait. Let's roll, step this back for a moment. Now, let's, okay. let, let's just put aside that obviously you never did, but there I was never a, did, no. But there was a point when the audience did. Oh yeah, when he was in the shield. <laughs> yes. No, 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 that, no. You're right. Actually, you're right because, because that, that's when people were cheering for Roman because, and I still think they were only cheering for Roman because it was against Bautista. This is true too. Um, like if it was anyone some, else in that ring, it would have been interesting to see where that would have gone. As somebody that was there, yeah, basically. Sorry, Batista. And also, hashtag sorry, Rey Mysterio. Mm, sorry, Rey Mysterio. That's it. Broke him. It broke him. He went to Lucha Underground. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it sent him into an under underground fighting league where he has to <laughs> u- where he has to use his son as bait for a monster. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Lucha, you're so amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are we going to do when that season's over? But anyways. Mm, I've been happy all episodes, Sorg. Why must you make me sad? I don't know. I'm not used to this positivity from you. Um. <sighs> uh, anyways, uh, what else did we have here? Uh, this Braun episode? Strowman. Braun, Braun Strowman. Strowman looked like a fucking god. Mm-hmm. And he's... Just gonna lose at no mercy, and it's gonna be really sad. It's gonna be really sad, Sorg, because he, more than anyone else in WWE, deserves the championship. And mm-hmm. I'm saying that more than like guys we love, like Cesaro or Sammy or Kevin Owens or stuff like that. Like Braun Strowman has put in the work, he deserves that championship. Absolutely, he, he, he's so good at it, and he he's he's a monster, and he's he's like some kind of luchador monster. He, he it's almost like he's if Matanza absorbs Son of Havoc mm. like Majin Buu, like yeah. Majin Buu. Like yeah, you didn't think I get you didn't think I get a Dragon Ball reference in, but I got a Dragon Ball reference in Sorg. We've been getting that Majin Buu in a lot, actually. So, by the way, have you seen the the new video Matt Hardy put out? No, because you want to want to talk about tag team wrestling. 
Um, Matt is trying to think, I think, get this Woken Matt gimmick going. Oh, no. He's so woke. It's it. Yeah, seriously. It's like a 45 second video of him just saying, feed me your energy, feed me your energy. I'm like, are you charging up a fucking spirit bomb? What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Um, but Sorg, we we also got a video package on tonight's show. We did. Yes, we did. Did I miss the video package? You might have missed the video package. What's the video package I missed? Uh, well, it doesn't seem like a lot of people are gonna be ready for someone. Oscar. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> I it was it, and it was um I wasn't paying attention to it and and all of a sudden, uh, wife of the show said, "Oh, this is creepy," and I'm like, "Oh, it's Oscar," and 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 I want to um, notice I want to note that Bobby F J Town has been um just just he's just like I'm going to be retweeting uh 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 Oscar gifts for a while. Mm-hmm. That's and that's fair. Um, I don't want Oscar and Raw. No. No, I don't. Okay. The only the only way I will accept Asuka on Raw is if she's going after the Universal Championship. <laughs> Asuka versus Braun Strowman is completely going to happen. Yes. I Yes, I, I want that. I would like that, please. Um, I don't want to see Asuka versus any woman on the Raw roster. Mm-hmm. I don't. Unless, I really don't. Because it's absolutely devastating all of them. Well, we've seen Oscar versus Nia Jax, and we've seen Oscar versus Bailey. This is true. I don't need to see either of those matches again, Alexa? especially Nia. Oh, I guess we've seen Nia. Um, I and Oscar has wrestled Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. It was before Alexa Bliss became Alexa Bliss, but um, I I don't want to see her on Raw. I don't want that. I feel like SmackDown has much better competition. Mm-hmm. And I feel like SmackDown will be able to handle her character better. Because I don't trust the people who run Raw sometimes. Okay, okay. Especially, I think Oscar will feel more comfortable with someone like Shinsuke Nakamura on SmackDown. Like I, a fellow countryman. I don't think that's part of the consideration. I think also the consideration is spreading the the spreading them around a little bit, right? I mean, I guess, but if but even look at this from a kayfabe perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay, how did Kurt Angle just get Oscar? You don't know. You just know that in, there were interested parties. You don't know what the negoti- negotiation tactics are, but. We should know this. That makes it an actual story. Mm-hmm. Like, we should know these things. That Because otherwise it just seems like, well, SmackDown got Shelton Benjamin, so of course, you know, Asuka goes to Raw. That just makes sense, kind of. Like, I, I don't know. It just it seems weird. Unless they're going to run the same promo on SmackDown and they're going to leave us guessing where she's going. It could be. It, it very well could be, honestly. Yeah, which, I mean, that I'm cool with. Because I, then she can I, show I did notice. Anyway. I did notice it said is coming. It did not say is coming to Raw. Yeah, it just said is coming. Yes. And, of course, Asuka's coming because, you know, she's Asuka. I still, I still think it's a red herring and she's going to go after the NXT Women's mm-hmm. Sale again. Brandon says if Rousey gets uh, signed, she'll go to uh, SmackDown to fight Charlotte. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I want to see that. Either. I don't know. All, all those girls are are kind of spread across uh, the rosters, so I don't know. I I kind of just want to see that one match with the four on four, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I need to see a follow up from that. That's true. That, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's a it's a one off thing because I don't think the other girls are are trained. I, but well, I uh, Shayna Baszler obviously is. Yeah, she is, and and she can kind of care that everybody's kind of. I mean, it's and, not like I don't think it's a problem that for a single four four on four match, they couldn't learn enough to do that. You know. Well, um, I mean, one of them is married to, um, Roddy. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. 
So I I feel like do you feel like 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 this this vi this is completely off raw topic, but you know this vision that like just um they're they're such big fans that they're just like you know getting lessons from Shayna. I I think this would have gone a lot differently if Ronda Rousey's UFC career didn't completely tank. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I think I think this is if she was still Conor McGregor and dominating, we wouldn't hear hide nor hair from Ronda Rousey. No, no, she'd be have other options. So, yeah. but I mean, she built a career and and and, and she's kind of cashing in and doing the fun things. So, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, it, I I just want to see that one match. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see that one match, and that's 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 really it. I just want to see that one thing. Because that one thing will be really cool. Okay, all right. Um, anything else from Raw? I I think we covered all the the high spots from it uh, tonight. Um, oh wait, 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 no, 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 no! I got one thing. Is it about Bray Wyatt's hatred of face paint? Yes. <laughs> Boy, I can't wait till he goes after all those other people who wear face paint on Raw. Oh wait. <laughs> so I. So uh, two things out of that match. Gold Dust okay. is creepy again. Sure. Like there was a little bit of like old Gold Dust creepiness. Like more than we even seen since he's became this Gold Dust again, right? Like, okay. Because it, it's like he left. He he left because it was the the original Gold Dust. The whole point was he was creepy movie star thing, but he was also had this weird like creepy sexual vibe to him, right? And there was just a little bit of mannerism. You're just like, wait a minute, you know. Um, but but this whole like, I it's I like I liked what they did tonight. I don't know if I like the story as a whole, but I like what they did tonight. I see. I don't get the story as a whole because no. the story as a whole really only works if Finn Balor wears face paint every week. Right. And not, you know, three times in two years. Like, if he was coming out as a dip, like, like he did on the indies in different face paint every week and having matches, okay, I understand that. But he's not, and Finn Balor has been able to win a lot of matches just as Finn Balor, mm -hmm. like as himself and not as the demon. Like we've never even seen the demon have a match on raw. No. And we shouldn't. <clears throat> yeah. Oh no. I, I mean, I, I agree that we shouldn't, but making that the focus of the story is kind of weird. All right. Yeah. And like I said, I like what they did tonight. I don't like the rest of the story. <laughs> yeah. You know, if yeah. you just, I, I'm just, I'm just pigeonholing the segment of tonight with the gold dust. I like that. Maybe it turns into something from this. I'll like out of it, but it, it's, it's gotten more attention than just video screen Bray and, and appearing and attacking and things like that. So I would rather see Bray Wyatt versus gold dust in a feud. Mm hmm. Mm. Like, right, that, would, like, yeah, that would be really I interesting. Would, I would rather see that. Part of me is like, is he recruiting him? Well, do you remember when Goldust said that he was going to have a big surprise for SummerSlam? And then... And then nothing <laughs> happened. Something and then happened WWE, realized, WWE realized, like, oh, wait, we booked eight hours of show in a six-hour block. Right, right. Sorry, buddy. I got a uh, I got a, a, a comment and then a question. It was just a I think he's just kind of rem reminding me. Uh, reminding us that Jason Jordan and Reigns started the show. Uh, well, we talked. Oh, is Jason Jordan that hot young local talent? Oh yeah, uh, I I missed most of it because uh, I was at a meeting myself. But um, um uh, Sorg, it was the exact same segment from last week. Yeah, just, I, know, I kind of figured. Just, just switch Cena and Reigns, oh. like, and and while okay, fine, Jason Jordan needs to win one of those matches. Kind of right. They're really kind of sticking he to somebody. He needs to win one of them. He um, needs to win one of them. There's a question, and I'm sure there's something that probably bothers you too. Oh, I am so sorry. Joe Joeo in there. 
Um, uh, question, why is Enzo the only guy allowed to be a cruiserweight and have matches with non-cruiserweight wrestlers? Also, why is Kalisto not a cruiserweight? Uh, the answer is because the writers said so. And, um, and also, yeah. Kalisto is not going to have a promo with, uh, with The Miz uh, like that. Uh, Kalisto is not going to have a promo. <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. You you could have you could have just stopped there, Sork. <laughs> Kalisto Kalisto had one chance. Oh, he had one opportunity, and he literally threw it in the dumpster. He he, he, th- he threw up. He threw up mom spaghetti. Um, <laughs> I thought that's where you were going with it, but no, he had a dumpster match with Strowman. Yeah, I know. I I know. I know. Okay, but yeah, no, I I. I I like it. I like it. I, I want to see Kalisto in a hoodie now. Um, like, and, doing, and doing a battle rap. And I'm reminded of this because of that. Um, um, our boy Sh- uh, Shilo, God, Elias, whatever his name Shilo! is now. I'm gonna call him his. Fr- I'm, I'm like this close to calling him by I his real name. I want to walk with Elias, but slide with Shilo. <laughs> oh, that got weird. That got real weird. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Other stuff that I can't talk about pops in my head. Um, I, 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 I tell me it about seems Elias. Like he's lost direction. It seems like he's lost direction. Uh, <laughs> would you say that he's drifting? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I would now, Sorg. I would now. <laughs> he is definitely drifting. <laughs> Fuck. I, Sorg, I don't know if, I don't know what I'm more mad at. The fact that you said it or the fact that I should have. Oh, all the above for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's. Ah! (laughs) Damn it. You're exactly right. Like, like he should just start every song now with Give Me the Beat, boys. Because. Oh god, tri- somebody sang that at the Twisted show last night. Seriously. <laughs> Sorg, can we all right, Sorg, you remember remember when we when we um had you put the audio of different things over different oh, things? Oh man. Can we can we have you take video of Elias and then put in an acoustic version of Drift Away? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? Oh, it'll be a Give nice me dedication. the beat, boys, no, and but, free my all right. soul. I, I, as far as, uh, I, I, you know, uh, direction or not, uh, <laughs> I'm not writing for the WWE creative, says Dave. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, seriously. No one in creative is ready for Oscar. <laughs> yeah, guys, for sure. Because yeah. they ain't going to know what What do you do. mean I have to read this promo? Um, anyways. <laughs> Why am I wrestling Alicia Fox? <laughs> Again. Um, not that we don't love Alicia, but not the way she is in WWE. Um, uh, what the hell was I reading? I was Something important was happening. You know what would be really what funny, Sword? Oh, all right, all right. Here, here's have, how they, hold on, hold on. Here's how they do the Oscar thing. This just popped in my brain. You do Oscar's entire entrance, okay? And you just see a mask popping out to the ring on Raw. And under the mask, you know who it is, Sorg? It's Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh. That's how you debate. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> um, so, anyways. No, I, I, I you know, the, the drifting of Elias. Um, I'm not worried because, again, Elias is getting more and more time. No, Raw. he's getting time, which is great. Yeah, and, which that's, is that's great. And and there's something that he'll get into. And right now we're still kind of establishing him. He's and he had some nice mini feuds. I I loved his stuff with 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 Finn. You can't say that he yeah, was. He, 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 and he pretty much got like he. That's how you actually build someone. Because mm-hmm. he did get a win on Finn. Mm-hmm. Gives but, us, yeah. gives him legitimacy. He's not just some some hack out there. Um, and he did the same with Ambrose too. They're letting him have more time with his songs. Hmm. So, 
All I still think good. he doesn't sing. He doesn't sing poorly enough, though, to be qualified as a heel. <laughs> He's no honky tonk. He's... Well, no, no, like, but that's that's the whole like. That should be the reason people boo him because he takes up a lot of people's time and he's not a good singer. Well, and also tonight, everybody replied positively to drifting with the with or um, walking with Elias. I'm sorry, I still yeah, want to drift. Like I kind of want him to stop in the middle of his song and tell people like, "Hey, put your cell phones down." This is not a concert for you. I, I, this is a concert this is for true. me. This is true. This is true. And like I think, yeah, there needs to be that call because you know somebody in the front row in front of him probably has a cell phone around, right? So yeah. and he he brings that out, and and yeah, no, no, I, I I agree with you. He needs to he add that dig like, in there a little bit. Like he he needs to he needs to make sure this ain't sing along with the rock. Also, I I I just like want to see like to me like I mean he's a songwriter like, like he's a legitimate obviously he's a legitimate songwriter and, and and performer and music and everything like that. So you know he's got like that lyric notebook right, and mm-hmm. all it is is just things that rhyme with sucks. <laughs> right? Unless he's in a city that has an easy rhyme. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because there is no rhyme for Anaheim. Oh! Mm! You, Can you feel it, Sora? I'm not. I'm feeling something, but I think it's mm. nausea. It's, um, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, sir. Um, On that note... How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? We've been here way too long. How much of this show Um, is watchable? All right. A, all of this show is watchable. (laughs) Um, I'll say two hours and ten minutes. What? I know. I know. Raw was real fun tonight. And they spaced it better because of the footballs. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, they put on a main event that no one cared about. We didn't even talk about it because it it's of no consequence because football. And they put the John Cena thing in between the breaks between the football games. That's it's a like, real thing. It's like writing a good song. Sure. <laughs> I love it when you don't completely disagree with what I said, but well, I've never written a song before, so I can't really, you know, well, I've never. All right, I've never written a good song before. <laughs> <laughs> to be te- and technically, neither have I. So, hey, that's not true. All your songs have been crappy, Sorg. Oh ah, boy, there's a reference references. for you guys. All right, well, references. thank you. So, oh, oh hey, no, Sorg, I thought. Yeah. Sorg, how much of Raw was watchable for you? Because um, I was being generous, though. So. I'm going 2.15. Oh, wow, we're almost about the same. Mm-hmm. But the funny thing is, I bet the things that we didn't think were watchable are vastly different. Mostly, yes. Mostly, yes. So, um, thank you very much. I don't know what we did tonight, but uh, I think this is the highest viewed live uh, uh, Raw wrap-up we've ever done. Sorg, so, you know what it is? Huh. You know what it is, Sorg? It's a test. It's a test. Oh, this it's is a test a music. Test. There you go. Test. There you test. go. So thank you for the uh, the uh, over 450 people that have popped in and hit play during the course here. Uh, thank you, everybody, new and old, uh, hanging out in the chat room on our Facebook Live. We do this every Tuesday – or, I'm sorry, Wednesday night. Wrong show. Uh, every Wednesday night after uh, WWE Raw, we get on here in the Facebook Live and Sorg. hang out. Sorg. And you get, it, yes. Sorg, it's Monday. You said Wednesday. Oh, did I correct myself from Tuesday didn't go to Wednesday? Yep. Isn't that like the only show we don't or the only day we don't have a show? Yeah, I think so. And oh. technically I, I live tweet Lucha that day, so I consider <laughs> that You consider that some kind of entertainment, so mm-hmm. absolutely. All right. Well, on that note, at Mad Mike four eighty three on the Twitters. Yes, and we will be talking about the hundredth episode of Lucha Underground this week on the oh. Mad Mike Raw! I like well I almost I almost hit stop the record because I thought we were exiting the show because that's how you exit the show. Um <laughs> I forgot all about that. That's amazing. Sorg, you thought tomorrow you thought today was Wednesday. I did think it was Wednesday. I wanted that lucha happening. 
Um, also, uh, you can check us out live.wrestlingmamshow.com every Tuesday night about 10 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to have a uh, women's wrestler Jinx on the show this week, and she's going to be giving us some insights. We're actually going to uh, go live and kind of watch party the May Young uh, finale. And then we'll be on for Wrestling Mayhem Show after that on the same stream. And, uh, and, uh, yes. and Sorg, if, if Jinx's Twitter feed is any indication during the podcast, you'll float too. Oh, boy. You'll oh float boy. too. Oh, boy. I hope you guys saw that movie IT this weekend. Um, yeah, IT. It's uh, really, really good. I had to um, turn the movie off and turn it on again, though. Yes. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it 